Hi, it's Rob at theroblog.com. We are adding, or we've added, I mean it's basically already in the slot, a USB 3 internal card uh, with a couple of uh, internal ports and a whole bunch of external ports. They're all back there. Anyway, I'll have an Amazon link to it so you can look at it in greater detail. Uh, the other cables you see there are for my uh, MSI card that's laying under that plastic bag with one of the essential tools for working on a computer. Yeah, Dr. Who stuff. A long set of forceps. What did we use that for on the Mac Pro? Well, it's so when you take power from the back of the optical drive and make sure you plug that in correctly, there's a little bevel to a little bevel, you work that cable down through there, uh, through the opening where all the other cables come through, comes out that side, use your forceps to get up in there, and then after that it's pretty self-explanatory, you know, you pr I'm going to put a little uh, Velcro on this to make it nice and neat. And uh, there's also another video on YouTube of mine about how I flash the MSI card. And I'll link to that so you can see what that looks like. So you don't need to see the card right now. That was the important part is how to get from the power connector on the back of the optical drive, route it under there, and then there it is going into the back of the USB card, and I think that uh, is a 7 port USB 3 card. It uses the same chipset as the 2013 Mac Pro, so you do not need drivers. Hope this helps. Subscribe to my videos. I'll be doing more geek hacky stuff, probably on Mac Apple stuff. And there's a reminder when you have all this open, I took this up because the little sticky magnets that go over the, uh, the processor cover. Uh, come unstuck and my processor cover was sticking out or heat sink cooling cover whatever you want to call that anyway shame on you apple for doing it that way use some adhesive that over the years wears out but anyway thanks for watching see you soon on the interwebs